Welcome back to our winner series, where I go through every single team and tell you why they're winning the cup next year. Remember, this was recorded on September 4th, so if anything's out of date, that's not my fault. The Boston Bruins. This isn't that hard of a sell, honestly. They're not well liked by this nation, nor should they be, nor the nation above us, nor should they be. But many hockey fans would crack a smile at David Krejci and Patrice Bergeron lifting the cup one last time. If the hockey gods do exist, and they do, the Bruins will have their health come playoffs and will have a chance at a real run to the cup. Sure, our top two centers this year are powered by Advil, Viagra, and Vicodin. Sure, the training program this season includes memorizing the line to life alert. Sure. The locker room now is a charging station for hover rounds. But, uh... I forgot where I was going with that. The top six when healthy has elite potential. Bergeron, Marchand, Hall, Pasternak, DeBrusque, and Krejci? I mean, come on! The defense, top five in the league when healthy. McAvoy, Lindholm, Carlo, Grizz? All right, well, top ten. The goaltenders, they hug, and it's nice. It's nice. This team literally has elite potential. Some of these videos don't have to be funny or clever or anything like that. Sometimes the team can literally be a top 10 team, a top five team, go on a run in the playoffs. All this takes is one of the goaltenders taking the next step. It's looking like it's gonna have to be Swayman because Olmark might be what he is, which is a good goaltender. We need one great run. I think Swayman's capable of it. And I think that's why 2023, your cup champions are the Boston Bruins, baby. Let's go!